So now friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to do data modeling in your Excel and in the second part, we will learn how to do data modeling in your Power BI. So like this technique in Excel is from very, for many long time, but now with the introduction of more use of analytics and use of Power BI, the role of this modeling the data modeling in Excel are more in picture now and it's not very difficult. So it's very easy. It's basically creating relations between tables which have some common data or you can say which have some unique features which we can add together. So stay tuned with us and see like how we will make uh, your data modeling in your Excel and Power BI and learn that. Thank you. So we will learn how to do data modeling in Power BI. To do data modeling in Power BI, we have a Power BI screen with us. And then I will go to File. Here click on File. And from Option, I will go to Add-ins. And then I will go to Excel Add-in and I will Com Add-in. I will take this Com Add-ins and then press OK. And we have a three option here. I have to click on the last one, Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel and press OK. So now I have a new option here in this Power Pivot with the name Power Pivot. I already have that because I have already added. And now we have this option here, Power Pivot. This is used for data modeling. So how to do data modeling? We first have to add different files from, it can be from any source. So we have file from source like your Excel and text. So I will first of all take Excel file. I will go to this get data from files and from, from Excel workbook. So I have two files here. So I will take first of all product file and import it. So from data I have imported it. Now if it asks about the file select, I will select this product file. And then I will go to this button here, load to, the small button here. I will just click over this, it should be added. Then load to, it will ask about the connection. So I we will just create a connection, we will, we will not load this. Only create connection. So I will take this option here and press OK. So this file is added product file. Next thing is, I will again go here. From files, I will this time I will take a text file. And I will take this uh, customer or either product for sales file here. Product I have taken sales import and this time again I will go here load to and we will again create a connection only create connection. We don't need add this file to this data model. Okay. So we have two files added for our data modeling product and sales first of all we will try over this so i will go to this power pivot and go to year manage so when i will click on manage so we have these files here like first file and second file show here hidden so it will hide calculate area so this is our file it contain our product name model name product color all the things if i will cl click on diagram it will show a diagram. In diagram, I have products and in sales, we have sales. And a product key, product, all the detail of our order date and all the things. Now, if we want to create a connection, we need to have one common a, uh, like data between them. And in this case, it is our product key because we both have product key. Like this table also have product key and this table have product key. So this is the common like column in both the tables and we need to create a link between them so I will just click over this and just add it to product key so we have created a link so now data modeling between them is created and it, if I will click over this it will show so it is with product key and product key now if you want to add more I will just want to add more here so what I will do I will go to again data and I try to add one more file here, text file and this time I will take territories and find out the data which have territories like sales territory key and all the things then I will go to load to 
and I will create existing like new worksheet only create connection again add this to the data model and ok so I have three files here added and then again I will go to the I will just click over this and the power table and manage and just see about diagram view so we have three files here one is our order date like product key sales territory key so this region have sales territory key and here we have territory key and these are the same things here but the name is a little bit different but there we will create connection between them but only the name is different otherwise they are the same so we will create a connection between them so now we have a connection between three files and from this we will create some data here like country wise we want to see the product color sales product color and what are the like uh, other thing is their customer key and what are things and their order <coughs> like, like order date is there order key order number is there order quantity order quantity we will see according to uh, their color and region so how we can do that let's see this is our question so we will again go to manage here I will just go manage and here I will go to private tables and new worksheet so we have to create like from product we will take the product color either you can take product name or product color in my case I will take product color so according to product color we have to find out our order quantity and next thing is in territories we will take our region a region I will take here in rows or in columns ok so now we have a region wise sales of our color wise order quantity so like after creating a link we can do this in our excel so in excel we have this data modeling technique to connecting three different tables and finding the results through our power paper now if we will go to our this file now in your we can also do it in your tab in our power bi so going to power bi i will do it from the beginning i will start a file here new so when we will start a new file here so we have a new file here i will just below this so that we can start from the scratch and understand it better so it will open it will take some time so we have here screen of our power pi and i will just close this it will take few seconds before loading now here we will again get data from different sources i will go to get data excel file first now we will do this in excel also sorry in power bi the same way we have done I will take the product file here and just open and this time it will not ask about load to so we directly have to load this file here it will take few seconds and now we have this product file I will just directly load this we don't have load to so I will just we already have clean this data is clean so no need to transform data so it is added again when this will be added the next thing is we have to add the next file so it will take few seconds because it's a bit slow it is taking some time now it is loaded 293 rows are loaded again I will go after like when this file will be added I will go here working on it load. then I will go to this time I will go to your text CVSV and this time I will take product sales stuff file and open it
and it will take few seconds and then I will load so it will be loaded in few seconds so it will take some time and like we have now two files product and your second one is your sales so the same steps whatever we are we have did it in your we are doing it in view error containing error so I will just view error what is the error here loading query contain error so we just check, check what the error is so it will in few seconds it will be added so what the error it will check it will check thing if there is no error like we will first of all we have these two files now product and sales now we will go again to go to get data again from our text files and this time i will take territory and click ok and load so now we have three files adding in our field and we have to create a data modeling with them so if you want to make any changes there so we don't make any changes I will just close this close and apply I will just click over this so now we have three files here so whatever error that will be we will see like if it's not made now if you will go here we will create a report here and here is the date so where here we our all table will be shown whatever table we have like product table like sales table whatever the field they have and if you will go to sales if you will go to territory it will show us about territory table now if you will go to the model so it's already created a link between our two tables and like in the like our the name are different here like here is sales territory key and here the name is our like with some other name like sales key or something like that like might be some name is different I will just increase the size here the name is territory key so that's why it's not a created link automatically but otherwise in our two tables the Power BI is automatically find out the same name and create a link between the two tables. Like here, we have a link with, if you will click over this, product key and product key, it has already created a link. Here, we have to create a link because the name is different here. Uh, like here, it is written sales territory key, here it is written territory key. But basically, they both are territory key. So, I will just click over this and just click over this. And now, we can create a link between them also so if I will click over this so we have a sales and territory key we have added a link now if you want to do data modeling I will go to the report here and we can create any chart or whatever you like to do so what I will do I will create here a table or matrix I will just create our matrix here and then we have rows and column here so in rows I will take your product color So we have a product color here. I will just increase the size to increase the style. I will go to view and then theme gallery. Oh, sorry, not theme gallery. I just open the some wrong. Not theme gallery here. Click over here. Then I will go to custom theme and then I will go to the stacks and increase the size to 22 and press apply so this is our product color here and next thing is what I will do I will create a link between them so we, we have already created a link so I will go to sales here and from sales I will take here order quantity and just put in columns so whatever order quantity I will put in value sorry so I will put in values here so we have this order quantity here and from the last table 
I will just click over the territory and here I will take column in countries. So now we have order wise detail according to our color. So we have created a link between three tables and now we can see the detail in a better way. So how in this way we can create our data modeling in Power BI. So that's all in this video. Thank you. So hello friends in this video tutorial we will learn about how to create a simple DAX in Power BI. To create a simple DAX we already have a three files loaded and from these files we have to create DAX. So here is for reports like if you will go we can make a report here like we have create report here we can have a tables like we have a sales table here and if you will go to product it will show us product table and if you will go to territory it will show our territory tables and here in models we have a link and in this links to this link we have already we create this uh, we got this link this is automatically created and this we have created so if you want to remove this link we just scroll and delete so do you want to create this relationship yes so i have created it but now i have delete it and now we can create it manually so this we will get it automatically because here we have the same name here like product key is here also and product key if you will click over this we can see we have our automatic created link with product key and product key because both tables have product key as a heading here heading here so it will create link from that but here the name is different like here is sales territory key and here is territory to create a link we just click over this and just drag it to sales territory and now we have a link with that and from these three tables we want to see in sales our product price here in sales table and also we want to multiply it with our uh, like our order our order quantity so we will multiply our product price with product price and our order quantity and see what is our total sales here and beside that we need this product price in this sales table so we'll just click over here in data and go to our sales table now to create a simple DAX DAX stand for your data analytics expression so it's the complete name for that so to create a DAX we will go to new column and add a new column in this so now we have a new column here and after having a new column we will give this column a name so instead of column we will give this a name just delete this and give this a name price 1 and then press equal to and here we will type a relation and thus open this and from product I think there is some uh, related I will just click over related and from product I will take product price and just click over this enter and when I will click over this it working on it and it will show the product price here which we ha have in our another table so because of this relation which is there between product and sales we are able to have a column here where we have a price from our product table now we want to multiply them for to multiply them we have to add another thing here I will again go to home and from here I will just again a new column here and when we have a new column I will give it a name here to give a name I will just go here and delete this so in this bar we have to create a DAX and engrave total sales we will give a name sales equal to and from here I will